Welcome back. Another edition of Bruising the Motherfucking Hood, bro. It's been a while since I've done this, but as you can see, I'm smiling. So I'm excited because I got some really good shit today. I got some good shit. I'm like beyond excited about this. It's back. It's uh, a beer that's very hard to find when it drops. Comes out around the beginning of the year. Probably lasts in the market for a good four days and then it's gone again. And if you're a beer drinker, you know about it. It's the motherfucking Hop Slam Beach by Bales. The good shit. This is the good shit right here. I'm going to tell you this. You probably ain't going to never just run into this one. But if you ever see this, can buy it. These motherfuckers are $20 for a six pack. I got a box. They come in a box. That's how dope this shit is. It's Hop Slam, man. Oh, man, it's so good. But this is the they they make it different every year, so I'm drinking something different. I haven't had it since 2017, so let's get into it. Uh, on Untapped, right now it's averaging a 4.6, but right now the info I have up here is for the 2017. It's different for every year. Like I said, it's a different uh, it's a different beer every year. So they describe it as uh, starting with six different hop variant, uh, starting with six different hop. I can't read that word right now. I can't see. Add it to the brew kettle and culminate it in a massive dry hop edition of Simcoe Hops. Bell's Hop Slam possesses the most complex hopping schedule in the Bell's repertoire. Selected specifically because of their aromatic, aromatic qualities, these specific Northwest varieties contribute to a pungent blend of grapefruit, stone fruit, and floral notes. A generous malt bill and a solid dollop of honey. What I love about this beer. Provide just enough body to keep the balance in check. Resulting in a remarkably drinkable rendition of a double IPA style. This is a double IPA. This is 10% alcohol. This ain't shit to play with, dog. It's that good shit, bro. You know I gotta get into the can design because I love this can. I love this. You don't see this color a lot anywhere. You definitely don't see it in beer a lot. So, like, I really like this can. I like how the guy's, like, getting slammed by the hops. Like, legit slammed by the hops. I think that's dope. I love this can. Um, I want to get into drinking this beer. I'm so happy that I have this beer in my possession. The pour. Mm hmm You see that? You see that, son? Yeah, yeah, look at that, bit. Look at that, bit. Look at that, bit. I'm pouring that. I'm pouring it slow, baby. It's hot, man. You gotta treat it gentle. Treat it like it's love. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. That's hop slam, baby. It's a lot darker than You know what? I drank it out of a can the time I did have it. What's great is that when I was working for the Miller Distributor, I had two of these in what they called a mystery pack that I paid $10 for. It was two cans of Hop Slam in there. It's worth the price of admission. It just smells hoppy as fuck. You smell that grapefruit. It kind of smells like Too Hearted. I mean, it's like the cousin of Too Hearted. Smells like love. Everything that I would ever love. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. This is Hop Slam. This is God Beer. Okay. If you ever turn this beer down for a Miller Lite, 
I will find you. And I will kill you. And then I will drown your dead body in Miller Light. You ever turn this beer down for anything? You're stupid. Go get it. Bells, hop slam. It's probably already gone. Out the market. 10 out of 10. Get you some. I'll catch y'all next time. Bruising the motherfucking hood, bro.